Hey guys, Blue Moon Mining here, and to start out the video, uh, these guys are not a sponsor, but I do have an affiliate link with them now. It's Coastal Crypto, pretty cool website. I strongly recommend tech checking out. They got a lot of cool products. Uh, I guess they got the typical uh, GPUs and ASICs and all that other fun stuff on their shop. They also sell merch, so check out the link in the description below, and I also have a five percent discount code. All right, um, I know I kind of threw that one part at the beginning of the video kind of at you guys um, but I do just want to let you guys know I do have an affiliate link with Coastal Crypto and I'm pretty excited about that because I've been working with Coastal Crypto on trying to get a Bitcoin miner um, and they're working with me allowing me to do payments so I strongly do recommend using them as a service um, again they're not a sponsor um, it's just they, they've been very helpful to me and they're pretty cool guys so yeah other than that, today we're going to be showing how to mine Radiant. Um, this is just for HiveOS. I will do a Windows 10 version eventually because I have not set up any of that on my actual computer yet. And I need to do it myself before I make a video on showing you how to do it. Also, sorry if my audio sounds a bit weird. I am trying out uh, one of those noise suppression things. I have my AMD card in and I'm using the AMD noise suppression so it may sound a little bit weird for you guys but yeah so of course this is the price of Radiant um, it has been actually profitable for some people depending on how much uh, you pay for electrical cost and uh, what hardware you throw at it so I just want to get into um, how good it is how efficient it is but yeah so it's Radiant, or RxD is the abbreviation for it. Um, it's right here. You can mine it on Wooly Pooly or many of these other things. Um, personally, I do recommend spreading out the hash rate because you don't want to have one pool with all the hash rate because that can cause some issues in security. So um, if you guys do decide to mine Radiant, make sure that you do spread out the hash rate. Um, the hash rate has been going up and down for the past couple of days. So, yeah yields me yields may go back and forth um, I don't know a lot of people will join and then they'll leave right away but yeah so first thing of course you always want to do um, I mean you should always do your own research into the coin before you mine it and of course some of the videos I make are financial advice they're only for entertainment purposes so and this is of course more of a um, I guess entertainment and tutorial type video just showing you guys how to do it but of course you do want to go to their website uh, usually it's right off of minor pool stats you can scroll down and their website's right there and you just want to go there and you want to click on this little wallet down here and it'll bring you to their github page you just want to click under releases this right here electron radiant that is where their wallet is once you have that downloaded of course you're going to want to get all the wallet information and download the blockchain um, we all know that that can take some time. Um, this is, I don't know exactly how old this coin is. Um, it's not on the new coin list from what I know, but yeah. So, once you download the blockchain, you're going to want to get your wallet information and head over to HiveOS. But of course, I got to sign in. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And I just want to show you guys how efficient Radiant actually is. So, on three 3060 Ti's, um, two are found or two are LHR, and one's my Founders Edition. Um, I'm getting 1.7. I like to add rabbit. I have like to put it at 1.74 because it kind of goes up to there every now and then. Uh, there is slight fluctuation, but I get 580 mega hash usually, averaged at around 60 watts. Um, of course, my Founders Edition card is way better with the Samsung memory. Um, it's only doing 55 watts at the same mega hash as these other two. So, very efficient. Um, in total, I'm pretty sure I'm only using like 180, 185 watts on my entire rig at the wall. Um, at least that's what I can average it out with adding the CPUs and stuff. So, yeah. Nothing too crazy. I could push it to 190 watts, but that's 1.74 giga hash on just one rig. And... Right now, me personally, I am solo mining it, but yeah, so as usual, if you haven't used HiveOS before, you want to go to your wallets to start off with, and you want to click Add Wallet. So you're going to want to search in your coin, just put RxD and it should be right here, 
type in your address your address or copy and paste it into the address area and put a name for it um, I've already gone ahead and made myself a radiant address obviously so it's just right here and yeah so that's what you want to do with that and then you're going to want to go to your flight sheets and of course it's going to be right here pop up add new flight sheet you're also going to want to search up RxD click on that add your wallet and then you're going to want to select what pool you're going to mine to now of course I do recommend spreading out the hash rate um, so we'll just go woolly pulley for now I kind of know it a little bit better but you're going to want to select what pool you're mining to mining to so if you're in Europe you'll want to choose Europe Canada Brazil China all those places and you want to choose if you want to just do it PPNS just you know regular pool mining or do you want to do solo mining um, pool mining will most likely be a better investment for you because you know, you're actually making those coins solo mining is more of a risk so always remember the risk that you have doing solo mining it's not always a 100% chance that you will hit a block it's all luck based so always make sure you're ready for a risk like that but we'll do PP and O's and then you just want to click apply and then you're going to choose what miner you want so I have BZ miners what I've been using to get those efficiency numbers I'll show you how to also do that in this video and I'll leave down what I have in the description and you guys can do it from there well, let's just you know video so I remember to delete it later because I always have a million and one different things but then you just want to click create flight sheet now since you have it don't put it on just yet you're going to click edit um, let me just go get the overclocks real quick and I'll be right back All right, as I was saying you're going to want to click edit go to setup minor config go down to extra config arguments and you want to paste this into the uh, arguments right um, this is the overclocks for 30 series. I'll have to go get the 20 series ones because I know there are some. But this is what I have it set at. I'll leave this down in the description again just so you guys can paste it in. Because if you don't paste this in, you're not going to get the efficient numbers that I was getting. But then you're going to want to click Apply Changes and it's going to be there. You want to update it. It's going to be updated. And then you just want to find your worker and go to Flight Sheets. And you're going to click on that little rocket ship right there and it's going to start mining. Um, if there is any issues, of course, you're going to have to do some troubleshooting. Uh, most likely, we'll do something with the overclocks. You may have to adjust them going up or down by five. Again, I'll get the overclocks pasted in the description so you guys can know what to do with that. But yeah, so that's pretty much how you mine Radiant. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know, you know, people may get a little frustrated about the affiliate link thing at the beginning of the video. It's not a sponsor or anything. It's just a way to support the channel. And, yeah, so hopefully it doesn't make you guys too mad. Um, I'll probably take it out of videos if you guys get frustrated with it or say not to have it in the videos. But, yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And peace out.